the largest traditional Hakka residence in Taiwan is opening up to the public. Jiang Xiaohao is a Hakka clan residence that dates back to 1918. Its owners want to set up a food garden on site where children and older adults can work together to produce their own food. They also plan to welcome visits from kindergartens. In a recent visit, children were amazed by the rich and mysterious symbolism of the buildings. Let's go to Taoyuan's Yangmei district to see for ourselves. This dark red gate is a side entrance of Jiangxia Hall. It only reaches an adult's waist, but it's towering over these kids' heads. Look closely at the gore design on the wood. It represents good fortune, happiness, and richness. So, you in the house? A child taps gently on the door knocker. Inside, the coin-shaped tiles on the floor and the open beams in the ceiling are fascinating relics of a different era. Jiang Xia Hall is more than 100 years old. It's the largest and best preserved surviving example of a traditional Hakka residence. In 2021, it was classed as a historical site of municipal importance. These intricately carved beams in the eaves once showed off the magnificence of the Huang clan. Even after all these years, they're no less splendid. The hall's manager, Huang Yao Lu, wants to open the hall to the public and bring life back into the old bricks. If nobody visits the place, then a historical site can easily fall into ruin because there's no life. That's why everyone in our family agrees that it would be best to open the space up. I think it's a great experience to introduce the children to this Hakka historical site with a class trip. The site is not just living testimony to the flourishing of one family. It's also part of the history of the settlement of Yangmei District. The hall is working with Wanlin University to establish a food and farming education site here. The plan is for retirees to manage a vegetable garden where children can come and learn to grow food, getting in touch with the roots of Hakka culture as well as the roots of their meals in the earth.